Um, Geek Fairy Nights. Geek Fairy Nights are in Kyo. Kyo, Mandarin Oriental. Mandarin Oriental, that's right. All right. So you're still managing that platform, Geek Fairy, as well as your new venture, the Sugar Book. Not exactly, because uh, for Geek Ferry, we uh, appointed a new CEO. Okay, after the takeover. Exactly. All right. The new CEO, um, Adip Khalid, which is a dear friend of mine. Adip, if you're watching. Adip, are you like classmates? Uh, yeah, we were uh, classmates uh, back then in, in, in Australia. We were uh, classmates. Oh, okay. So you found a similar like-minded person to handle your yes. business. Yes, That's, yes. You went to business school, right? Yes, so uh, I went to... What did you study over there? Um, I did my degree in uh, RMIT okay. and then further to my MBA. In, 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 in Australia, RMIT. What's RMIT? Royal Melbourne, Melbourne Institute, Institute of Technology. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> here's like a Royal Malaysian or something. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, coming back here. So you're 31, you're from Penang. From Penang, yes. So, and what were you doing in manufacturing over at Penang? I'm just working for my father. Uh -huh. um, he's into um, the GPS business, also uh -huh. into um, some precision steel. Uh -huh. Like calibration equipment. Correct. Uh, we produce. Uh, we used to produce uh, um, pins and nails. Uh -huh. um, also, right now, uh, my brother is running a cafe. So, okay. time after time, mm -hmm. I'll go back, have a look, and and just eat free food. Eat free food <laughs> from my brother's house. It's okay, and that's the way. That's what family is for, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that would have taught you a lot of business management skills, how to start your own startup. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, but I think um, one of the one of the one of the things that I learned most uh -huh. is when I was at Geek Ferry, mm -hmm. when we were um, venturing in Geek Ferry. I think the whole takeover uh -huh. um, taught us a lot of lesson and the acquisition as well. And uh, it was just meetings after meetings, and and uh, finally after eight months, you see something blooming. Okay. You see, you see results. Okay. So I think Your kid that has is grown up. exactly. So I think that's one of the reasons what keeps us going. Right, you know? it's a motivating process. Yeah. Itself. Were you ready for it to be bought over at that period, or did you have to like restructure after that? To be honest, um, we were very shocked and very uh, kind of sad as well, because uh, letting your kid go to someone else. Yes, but uh, what what has to be done has to be done, you know. Uh -huh. So, so yeah, but um, it's for the better right now. Uh -huh. And now I have the sugar book. I have my time on the sugar book. I can spend sugar so much time book. on the sugar book. So when did you start tasting the sugar and felt that you want to do this over here? When was it? When was the inception? The inception of the sugar book. I've been. Uh, I've always wanted to, uh, you know, solve a, a, a particular problem. Mm -hmm. So back at Geek Ferry, we were solving uh, musicians right. and solving how musicians connect. Okay. So, so you take a problem and you try to solve it. Correct. Okay. And um, when I saw this problem in the dating industry. Mm -hmm. And I also saw that it's a very lucrative uh, business, the dating industry. Well, because I had a look at um, how Tinder and okay. uh, Match.com. Match.com Match is not so localized, is it? It's a, it, it's a global company. Uh -huh. So IAC, Interactive uh, Corporation, those are the guys who manage um, Tinder and, okay. and, and Match.com. Oh, they're together? Correct. Sister companies? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, so I saw how um, how how good they were doing, how great they were doing. You see, so I think to myself, I think um, dating industry is a really good business. Okay. So I did a little research. Uh, um, how what do people like in on dating platforms? And, okay. and what I found was um, most people, like around forty percent of the people, they always choose uh, financials. Right. As the uh, main criteria before uh -huh. getting into any relationship. True. So then it was clear to me, you know, um, we're gonna start something very different. You found a niche. We found a niche. Uh -huh. We found a niche. We started a, um, a, a platform for sugar daddies and sugar babies, mm -hmm. and we we always uh, uh, advise our users and we champion for this kind of honest and transparent relationship. Okay. So, so that's how the whole thing. So uh, once you're here, you actually know each other, one, one what each other wants. Yeah, right? exactly. Because you gotta lay down your terms and conditions, right. your terms of relationships before mm -hmm. getting into any relationship. Mm -hmm. So 
So it's like, uh, like let's say we compare it to Tinder. How are you different? Right. Um, now, imagine going to Tinder. Uh -huh. You never know what you're going to get yourself into. Right. And uh, in Tinder, it's saying, say you meet a girl in Tinder. Mm -hmm. and, and you guys go out for dinner or something. Okay. And you just want to be friends, right? Uh, but you never know what the guy wants or what the girl wants at the end of the night. So uh, it might turn out to be a hookup, uh, uh, mm -hmm. a date kind of thing. Uh -huh. But in the sugar book, it's really different because uh, before going out on the relationship or going out on a date or any relationship, uh -huh. you lay down what you want first. Uh -huh. So for example, the girls can say, um, for me to get into a relationship with you, I want a Chanel bag mm. or every month. Wow. That's, that's just an example. It's a subscription right? box, man. <laughs> right, so um, it's just one example. I mean, um, uh, we've had uh, single mothers, mm -hmm. single mothers who are sugar babies as well. Uh -huh. So what happens is um, single mothers will explain to the, the sugar daddies that they have two kids. Okay. Or, or are you okay with that? All right. And if we get into a relationship, um, you would have to support my kids. So that is what happened um, in, in the sugar book. And, and in our platform, this is what we see. Okay. This is uh, what we hear from people as well. And, uh, and I think uh, besides single mothers, there's also divorces that, uh, mm -hmm. that's, that has been on our platform and, and found their next, uh, what do you call that? Uh, their potential partner. Potential partner. Yeah. So, so that's, that's really the difference of uh, the sugar book and Tinder. Uh, okay. you, gotta, you can you know, lay down your terms and Right. Conditions. So, if, if they're in a relationship with one person, are they open to being with someone else or it's all in the stipulation already mentioned? It's all in the terms of relationship. Okay. So, some girls might say, okay, I want you and only you. Ah, okay. Right. Um, you're not allowed to have any other sugar babies. So, you guys gotta, the girls and the guys, mm -hmm. they have to um, agree. Can, can consensual on that. Yeah. You gotta agree before getting into a relationship. Okay. Right. Interesting. But what if the guy cheats then? It's I think um, cheating. It happens in all uh, right, right. types of relationship, right? So I think it's gonna be really hard to control. True. That so part. let's say they have that terms of relationship. Can they sue that person? To like, hey, you <laughs> went against my terms of contract. So this terms of relationship is gonna be like an agreement between the two of you. Caprina. Like, like a prenup, but nothing is signed, but uh -huh. it's just um, 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 okay. an understanding and an agreement between Each the two of you. Agreement. Exactly. Okay, let's go back. Um, okay, coming back to the sugar book, right? Before you brought it to Malaysia, did you like think about somewhere else it was being used and felt that, hey, this system works like, like match and match, match.com and Tinder? Was, it, was there any other dating platform that you saw and you compared them? Yeah, so before we started the sugar book, we tried to find um, a, a, a dating platform that which is just based on financials. Okay. And uh, what we found was um, there were a lot of um, platforms that have were focused on niche markets, as in ChristianDating.com. Right. Or. Um, That's a huge market for that man. Yeah, for Christians, it, yeah. I want a God-fearing daughter-in-law. <laughs> and also a uh, SingleParents.com. Uh, mm -hmm. So we really just wanted to be just based on financials okay and uh, yeah so we had a look around and spoke to a few people about this uh, um, this concept and you know uh, there were a lot of people objecting it like rejecting this concept uh -huh. at first uh -huh. and what we did was um, we just went through it okay went through it and and tried our luck and this is this is the rate of it going growing right now so uh, all right did you develop it yourself or did you like get a team of friends, like uh, developers? So what happened was um, I, I had this whole idea of, of a dating platform based on uh, financials, financials and honesty. Uh -huh. And I was not a, I'm not a developer, you see. Okay. So I'm from a marketing background. So mm -hmm. what I did was I go on Job Street. I go on uh, Warp. Okay. So Warp's a job platform with videos. Right, okay. exactly. Okay. So I look for developers. Uh -huh. So there was I was interviewing um, developers. I think I was interviewing at least forty to forty oh. to around forty plus developers per day. Uh -huh. 
and I was just um, asking the developers, you know, telling them what I want and my vision. Can you do it? Exactly. So uh-huh. people at that time they were thinking that I was crazy. Uh-huh. Uh, they were thinking that I was crazy and it, it will never work. The crazies, man, they rule the world. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. They, they rule the world, right? Yes. And um, but I was fortunate to meet one. Uh-huh. I think I was interviewing for three, three weeks, three okay. and a half weeks. Uh-huh. So every day. So mm. so um, so yeah, I was fortunate to meet uh, one developer. Mm-hmm. And this developer was um, he had he had faith, and he saw the opportunity as well. So he was like, "Okay, Darren, um, this is what we have to do. Uh, the next person is this higher. The next person uh-huh. we're gonna hire." So he led the way of that. He kind of led. Um, he kind of led. He explained to me, uh-huh. "Developing is um, so and so is 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 this. The next one we need is a UI UX designer." Yes. You know so. So after that stage, Make um, it pretty it all up. Yeah. So I was spending um, all my my months and days and months and hours and hours um, with with these two people that I okay. I, I hired. So I kind of learned a little bit from them as well. Mm-hmm. Then I understand and I know what would be my next hire. Uh-huh. What's going to be my next hire? All right. Do I need more developers? Uh, Do I need a, a, a marketer? Do I need uh-huh. a, a PR? So right. the next one we went for. Um, I think it was uh, another developer. Uh-huh. Then we went for a marketer. All right. So you made sure your product was good to launch, yeah. and then went exactly. out market. Yeah. And bang. Yeah, it has to be perfect first before. That's so like you, many you people disagree it. with you. They say ship fast, so it means like uh, ship out the basic product first, and then keep adding features on it. Right, right. You can work, do it that way as well, and get the right. MVP Looking as well. at your market, you would want it to be perfect. Looking yeah. at your clientele. <laughs> yeah. I, try, I try to be as perfect as possible, but we all know it's not possible, you know? True, nothing is perfect, man. Yeah. So, but uh, as good as it gets. Okay, currently in your team, how many people do you have? We have at least um, 12 people, mm-hmm. including the, um, our moderators and, uh, uh-huh. and part-timers. Okay. And uh, we're looking to expand as well. So okay. if there are any people who's interested, any young, brilliant individuals who okay, are interested. Okay, you can actually advertise. What are you looking for? Um, we're looking for another PR. Uh-huh. We're also looking for developers as well. All right. And a product manager. What's a product manager? So basically, we would want a person who has the same vision as us uh-huh. and uh, to basically just grow the product. I see. Uh-huh. Okay. Take it to the next level. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah. All right. All right. So tell me what happens. Like I'm new. I want to like, I'm watching this show. Um, I'm like, mm, interesting. What's in it for me? What do I get out of it? So do you want to be a sugar baby or a sugar daddy? Not rich enough to be a sugar daddy. So okay, yeah, I want to be a sugar baby. <laughs> so a male sugar baby? Yes, a male sugar I can't be a demon sugar baby. Unless I go to Thailand and come back, right? So well, okay, I'm a male sugar baby. Um, what the do ma- I do? The one thing that you can do is you can sign up to the sugar book. It's, uh-huh. uh, signing up to the sugar book is free. Uh-huh. And it's very fast as well, I uh-huh. think. Less than five minutes, you'll get yourself an account, but uh, you will always need to go through a moderation process. Okay. Well, that one might take at least 24 hours for uh-huh. our moderators to do. So, like, make sure your documents are right and I'm exactly the person who I see and I am. Yeah, and uh-huh. using the, the, a genuine photo, uh-huh. um, no nudity. We no don't nudity? How am I going to sell myself then? <laughs> Uh, I think I think you can sell yourself in many many uh, ways. Right. Yeah. Okay, we have a question. Is the Sugar Book an agency? Ah, right. Okay, so the Sugar Book is not an agency. Uh huh. Um, but um, we're a platform. Yeah, we are a platform. So uh-huh. we provided a platform for people to connect. Connect. And uh, not much of an agency. We mm-hmm. don't have um, talents. You don't have your own in-house talents. <laughs> No, they have a tech team, but not the other sugar team. Yeah, we have, we have, uh, we, we, we have um, our, a tech team. Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, no talents. No talents. Um, not an agency. Mm-hmm. And uh, just a platform, more like, a, like Facebook, like I LinkedIn. I wonder why is he even asking this question? <laughs> Something wrong. <laughs> All right, coming back to that. Um, so now I'm going to sign up. Um, you have a vetting process. Mm-hmm. After that, what happens? 
Well, after that, uh-huh. um, if everything goes well, uh-huh. if your profile is approved, mm-hmm. um, you will be able to chat, start chatting. Okay. So you'll be able to start chatting with um, either sugar babies or sugar mummies or sugar daddies, depends. Okay, all right. And um, after that... Is there like a matching process or a pairing process where you take my interests and their interests and then like try to match them? Um, okay, so um, what happens in a platform is you can use our search uh, feature. Mm-hmm. So the search feature, you can scroll and uh, search for all the, the, the available members. Okay. But not much of a matching process. We don't really match uh, people yet. Okay. Yes. So you got, you're getting there. Well, we might be getting there, which um, I'm not able to disclose. Uh, okay. Needs a lot of computing power, man. AI and stuff. Yes, yes, okay. exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah, because uh, I think the dating is actually moving into the AI direction. So right. you never know. True. Dating is you going know. into AI. The Japanese are going into robots. <laughs> <laughs> so you choose what you want. <laughs> no, imagine. Imagine. Do you, you're using iPhone, yeah? Uh, no, nah, I'm using the Samsung. Right. Okay, so. Imagine if you have um, the voice assistant, uh-huh. Siri. Yes. And imagine one day you were saying, um, Hey Siri, um, uh-huh. I need a date. All right. Hey Siri, I need a date. Um, I need a brunette. Uh-huh. I, need, uh, I need a brunette who, 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 who likes to eat sushi. Okay. All right. <laughs> Just an example, yeah? Uh-huh. So you never know where it might go, where dating might go. So the way I see it is if we can incorporate AI uh-huh. in the future. Yes, Look up based on proximity, based on interest, based on hair color, yeah. and do that. But when I see that, she's gonna say like, "Sorry, sir, I'm taken." Oh, that <laughs> next. <laughs> like, okay, so then we go, when this like, when let's say I'm going out with a person from your platform, mm-hmm. do you know what's happening? Like, what what uh, do you mean? Let's say I let's say I get into a relationship with someone from your platform and we met through the platform and then I make a deal like hey, let's meet up at Glow Daman Sara tonight at 10 for some drinks alright okay because um, we follow this um, data protection act uh, PDPA right so mm-hmm. we're not allowed to encroach into okay. um, all the conversations of our respected members uh-huh. but um, we do get a lot of um, sugar babies talking to our media team uh-huh. about the success stories aha uh-huh. Yeah, so I saw like a few interview uh, success stories from your platform, uh, your Facebook earlier. Right, I was watching that. and uh, recently we uh-huh. had this um, we had this girl that uh, she went on she went on this trip. Mm-hmm. Um, she she lost her laptop, uh-huh. so she was trying to get a new laptop, mm-hmm. and um, she met this sugar daddy, and uh, sugar daddy was. Uh, very nice. So she's from London. Uh, the sugar daddy's from London, I think. Uh-huh. I, I think it's from London. Okay. Um, um, the next thing you know, they haven't even met up yet. Mm. The sugar daddy transferred um, eight thousand ringgit to this girl. Those bricks, man, they know how to get the chick. No, the thing is, he transferred eight thousand ringgit to the girl. Uh-huh. She bought um, her the MacBook, uh-huh. a second-hand MacBook uh-huh. online. Uh-huh. And um, the next thing you know, she called uh, one of our PRs, uh-huh. and she was crying to crying uh-huh. and saying that she didn't receive the laptop. She was scammed. So where right? did the money go? So, so what I said was um, she was stupid enough to buy from online uh, and paying the full price. Uh, so what she did was she went back to the sugar daddy online and asked for more. Wow. So what do you think the sugar daddy did? Uh, he bought her a new laptop. He sent another 8,000 ringgit. Nice. Uh, the yeah. pound Malaysia conversion rate helps, yeah. man. It helps, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's so they are decent people, then. not only like a one way relationship, they are willing to help and make yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so let's say this girl did she go and visit that guy or anything like that? Right, she um, she actually sent us um, photos of uh-huh. um, them going to Singapore mm. and um, her luxurious um, hotels. Uh-huh. Which I'm not allowed to disclose. Okay. But um, she she was keeping close contact with us, and uh, she was um, very generous to share the photos. Experiences. Yeah. And, uh, okay. So then, what happens after that? Can can they choose to separate on mutual ag- agreements, mutual terms, or it's up to them? Um, it's it's totally up to them. It's 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 like it's like it's like us. Uh-huh. Um, 
do you want to stay in this relationship with with our Is it working out? Yeah. Is, am I happy? Yeah, a, su- a sugar relationship uh-huh. is basically um it's it's kind of like a, 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 a it's like a normal relationship as well. You know, except you just got that, help getting there. That's yeah, it. except you lay down your terms uh-huh. and, and and your needs, your unique ones and needs. All right. So now the topic of today is the controversy of a sugar daddy dating platform. Right. What is the controversy? The controversy, I think, I think the main controversy here is that the public or the people mm-hmm. always think that uh, sugar babies and prostitutes are of the same. Uh huh. Well, that is a huge mis- misconception. And uh, what's the difference? So the difference of a sugar baby and a prostitute is anybody can be a sugar baby. Okay. You know, um, if you walk into an office mm-hmm. or you walk into a, a grocery store, mm-hmm. anybody can be a sugar baby. Um, even I can be a sugar baby. You can be a sugar baby, mm-hmm. right? So sugar babies, they are smart people. They are very goal empowered. Right. They know what they want in life, mm-hmm. right? So, and sugar babies, they. It could be a friend of yours. Mm. It could be your neighbor. You never know. You never know. But um, and, and sugar babies, they are not forced into doing the things that they that do they not want, want to do. So yes. just like you and I, mm-hmm. they have the freedom of choice. Okay. Freedom of choice to choose what kind of or what kind what kind of person they like to you know to see or who they want to be with in a mm-hmm. relationship. Like growing up, they might have some goals of like, hey, I want to travel the world with this kind of thing. Saudi prince, maybe. Yeah. I'll, so they <laughs> have those kinds of goals, and then when they actually grow up, like, oh shit, I didn't experience any of that. <laughs> so this platform might help them achieve their, goal, yeah, real, their dreams. Exactly. So, so that's one huge misconception about um, sugar babies and, and and prostitutes. So that's one. There's um, people have the wrong conception. What else are like, people thinking about you? Like one guy asked, are you an agency? So do they think you're an agency? Do you have like... Yeah, so I understand why they ask if we are an agency. Mm. And reason being because um, mm. there's a lot of advertisements or, or, or um, we see a lot of advertisements or SMS messages um, mm. s- being sent to our phones saying mm. that, hi, we are an agent. Um, oh, we are have an a- people under them. Yeah, they have people working for them, which which I don't recommend to engage with these people. You see, because mm-hmm. you never know what's going to happen. Right. So yeah. if you're looking for, they could uh, even be like uh, human trafficking victims. Exactly, uh-huh. exactly. So what I always advise uh, um, my friends or the people that I meet or mm-hmm. the viewers right now uh-huh. is that if you're looking for a sugar baby or a uh-huh. sugar daddy, mm-hmm. um, use the sugar book. Use a real platform, uh-huh. a real and safe platform. Um, Try not to engage with a third party agent. Right. 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 So these people could be like the ones operating like the illegal massage parlors. Exactly. You, you never know, you see. Right. So, right. so it's very dangerous to do. Okay, we have another question here. Does the Sugar Book consider, uh, will it be having any offline events? Sorry, again? Will the Sugar Book be having any offline events? Oh, yes, right. definitely. Um, Okay. We can't Share really it. we can't really disclose of the location right now. I'm mm. very sorry, but I can promise you that it's it will be held in a very prominent club mm-hmm. in uh, in 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 KL, mm-hmm. in the heart of KL actually. Uh-huh. But uh, we will announce the the location. I think uh, in in two weeks, two or three weeks, uh-huh. we will announce the location. But okay. um, all of you can join, mm-hmm. provided that you are a member. Registered user, member. Yeah. Because it's a members-only uh, 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 party, it's it's going to be called the the launch, the official launch of the Sugar Book in in Malaysia. Wow! So you, you guys are uh, invited as well. Feel free. Wow! So I'm going to sign yeah. up after this. Yeah, sign up, sign up. I'll get yourself some sugar daddies. You you want the sugar daddies? No. <laughs> <laughs> the hell, I don't want the sugar money. Yeah, I hope my mom's not watching. So, yeah. Okay. Hopefully no one shares this thing about me. <laughs> uh, okay, do we have any other questions? No. All right, uh, so we, as we are discussing earlier, this issue is something that uh, might be of interest to like the religious bodies and uh, institutions. How are you prepared to handle those kind of 
objections and refutes? Well, first of all, um, our whole PR campaign is to always educate um, the public. Okay. And the public being the religious groups as well, mm -hmm. saying that um, what sugar dating is. Okay. You see, we've also had um, blogs to teach um, um, sugar babies, dedicated to sugar babies as well, mm -hmm. uh, what sugar dating is. You know, it's, it's not really what you think it is, mm -hmm. but um, try to... Sugarficial. Sugarficial, yeah. Yes. It's, our blog is called sugarficial.com. Uh -huh. Um, it's a blog created for the sugar babies by the sugar babies. Uh -huh. So right. we try to educate public mm -hmm. and, uh, and we, we are very open to work with the authorities and uh, be it the religious groups or um, the, the, any authorities that will need uh, our assistance. Clarifying the matter. Yes, uh -huh. you know, because I'm, I'm actually happy that, uh, that people actually are bringing up this topic, um, the, the controversy. Uh -huh. So, we're happy to work with any, a, anybody, any authorities okay. because it's in our line and our goal, our vision as well to keep um, this, the platform as safe as possible. Right, right. You see, so if we have the help from the authorities, mm -hmm. I think we can really make it, make it work. True, true. So, uh, uh, like, since this, uh, this is an app, it's a platform that, as you said earlier, anywhere there is Google Play Store or Apple, uh, Apple Store you can use and be a member of it. So how do you manage clients from overseas and not localized? Okay, um, we don't really manage the um, clients. Okay, uh, I think um, each and every person is uh -huh. is our member, mm -hmm. and um, not so much of a client. They it's it's like Facebook. You know, when you go into Facebook, what do you do? You it's free and you, right. it's free for you to, to chat up you anybody yes. that you want. Mm -hmm. So we try to make it like a, a social networking platform. Uh -huh. But uh, um, we, we market it in, in a different kind of way. Mm -hmm. But in, in, if you look at it, it's just a social networking platform. Okay, wait, uh, just answering a question, Mr. Tang Po. The link will be up in two weeks. So before that, just like his page, The Sugar Book. So he'll be posting, someone will be posting uh, updates about the event, right? Definitely. Okay, so is it? It's not illegal. No one says it's illegal, but there are people who say not agreeing to it as well. So you are you have to go for the middle market. Mm -hmm. How is the targeting being done? I think <clears throat> I think um, look at look at Uber. Okay. Look at Grab. Uh -huh. When it first started, it's it's not legal. Mm -hmm. You know, there were a lot of people yeah, the taxi objecting. Taxi drivers, they were against. Yeah, it, it was havoc, right? right. So um, I think in every every successful business, uh -huh. they are going to be naysayers. True. They're going to be naysayers. Well, I always tell my team that uh, we gotta we gotta be thankful that people are actually talking about us. Uh -huh. Right. And if there's nobody talking about us, yeah, that's yeah. that's the time that we have to be worried. We're we doing something wrong. Uh -huh. Okay, so um, what was your question again? Sorry. So how how do you target that, like the neutral customers? Okay, so we don't really just target the neutral ones. We try to target um, the majority of uh, the people. Okay. Uh -huh. Let and them choose. Yeah, let them choose, and we try to educate those majority of people that we target as well. Okay. And uh, but for the sugar daddies, uh -huh. it's uh, we. We try to target um, the ones that are, you know, yeah. that are capable of uh, maintaining such a relationship, maintaining such a lifestyle. Yes. So, what would be like a cut-off point you, in your personal view to say that okay, you are qualified to be a sugar daddy? Oh, uh, I think, I think being a sugar daddy, uh -huh. it's it's uh, there's many things to being a sugar daddy, and one of it is, I mean, having having. Good financials is just the tip of the uh -huh. iceberg. But um, a real sugar daddy is always very willing to share uh -huh. um, his life's experiences. All right. Also having a very wide and influential network and uh, very willing to spend. Not open hearted. <laughs> <laughs> so like you talked about uh, having a wide network of friends. Is it to like expose the sugar baby to the like a business world or what is it like? What's the point of it? 
Well, um, the feedback that we got from one of our sugar babies is that mm -hmm. she um, was, she got her her startup uh, invested by mm -hmm. one of the sugar daddies. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, okay. so we mm -hmm. after that we were thinking, yeah, a sugar, sugar daddy. daddy to angel investor. <laughs> yeah. What are the odds, right? Mm. Like actually, that's where you find, like, if you were looking for an angel investor, you want to look look for them at a high income area. Yeah. Where do they hang out? Where do they hang out? The sugar book is one of them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. She did her research, right, man? <laughs> uh, right. So, like, uh, could you share, like, what are the perks besides this? Like, okay, um, the nice ones. Uh, one is getting funded for their business. So, so that probably I would think I would say traveling, traveling around the world. Definitely, um, because uh, one of our sugar babies, uh -huh. I'll tell you another story. Mm -hmm. She was she met a, a sugar daddy online, and mm -hmm. she was very she was quite afraid to meet him in person. Okay. So she went to us for advice. Mm -hmm. So um, our PR, um, our media team just um, told her that okay, if you are afraid and if you're not sure, do a Skype call first. Uh huh. You see, so Skype with him mm -hmm. and. See if you guys click and if it if it's right. dodgy or not, right. if it's safe, then meet at a, a safe place. So uh -huh. what they did was they met at the hotel lobby uh -huh. and they went for dinner. Okay. After they went for dinner, um, I'm not sure what happened, but um, they went on a trip. Okay. So um, the sugar baby and the sugar daddy they went on a trip. The sugar baby gave us a call back uh, two or three weeks later. I'm safe. Uh, and she was uh, she was on the loudspeaker. We were asking her if we can put you on the loudspeaker. Uh -huh. So she was on the loudspeaker, and she was telling all of us that uh, she fell in love with her sugar daddy. Uh -huh. that's like a yeah. So that's uh, that's like, a, that's like a good positive feedback from the customer. Right? right. So because the way we see it is that, which is actually true, um, in every relationship, in every relationship, it mostly it starts with. Um, the, the male trying to provide or trying mm -hmm. to prove that the male is able to provide for the female caregiver right mm -hmm. if, if you like for example for me and I think for most of the people as well when you start a relationship mm -hmm. most of the time you spend right. you 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 spend for the movie tickets mm -hmm. yeah your your taxi your cab your uber your food so it's it's just a, a whole shortcut to all those spending, you know. Uh -huh. uh, we at the Sugar Book, we we built this platform okay. based on financials that way as well. So you know for sure that he can provide for the girl, the sugar baby can provide for the sugar baby. Yeah, it's like there's no questioning that. Can I? Yeah. Will you be buy me lunch? Will you pay for my trials? No, it's already there. It's, it's agreed upon that sugar daddy is always paying. Uh huh. I got a question like um, do all the sugar daddies or uh, generally speaking are they okay with be seen in public with a sugar baby well that depends so uh, uh -huh. we've gotten email as, emails as well uh -huh. saying that um, sugar daddies who emailed us saying that they are not ready to mm. to, to to have their photo online uh -huh. so we, we totally understand we, we understand because we understand where they're coming from right because um, they could be someone um, from the distinguished, uh, uh, sure. you know, uh -huh. or someone who is very affluent, or mm -hmm. or you never know. So what the only the only solution to this is that to join our Diamond Club. Diamond Club. The Diamond Members like Club. Sounds like MLM already, man. <laughs> yeah. So what the Diamond Members Club does is that it separates you from um, all the other members. Okay. And uh, we will be launching the Diamond Members Club, but um, I think in a in in a month or two, mm -hmm. and uh, just uh, we we will update all the members what the Diamond Members Club is about. That's how you cari makan. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. Yeah, okay. you can say that that's how you cari makan. Yeah, because the whole process, I was trying to see where do you make them swipe your card. So <laughs> I was like, okay, not here, not here, not here, not here. Yeah, at the shopping there, malls. No, for you to come back to pay to your sugar book, <laughs> like ah, diamond club. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Um, also, we also earn from um, a subscription basis. Mm -hmm. um, that is the only thing that we we we, we profit from, uh -huh. which. Uh, it's a subscription basis. Exactly. Okay. It's so a subscription if I want to be on the sugar book, 
who pays the sugar daddy mommy pays or the baby pays everyone pays to be on the platform for the sugar babies it's absolutely free uh-huh. um, it's just for the um, sugar daddies mm-hmm. um, sugar daddies would have to pay um, 39.95 per month uh-huh. and for, um, USD sorry uh-huh. 39.95 USD per month okay. and as of now today we have the um, um, what do you call that the Valentine's Day promotion okay. so if any of you um, wants to be a sugar daddy and uh, come online and register right now because uh-huh. we have the promotion going on mm-hmm. and it's 1995 USD forever <laughs> for the first month for seven days for seven days yeah. no I mean like 1999 for after that every month recurring it's 19, 1995 for um, seven days only then uh-huh. it's up to you if you if you want to right. transfer the, the package to a one month package or three months okay for three okay, months okay. it's 30, 3295 all right so Yeah. And about. yeah, for sugar babies, it's uh, yeah, it's free for sugar, sugar babies, but okay. they 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 are more than welcome to uh-huh. contribute for the premium status. Okay, do you have any competitors right now? Right now, we have uh, there's one in Vegas, mm-hmm. and there's one in uh, Belgium and and France. Uh-huh. Um, these guys are amazing. Mm-hmm. They are doing a hell of a job and. Uh, I actually was wanting to meet one of them. Okay. Uh, one of the founders, mm-hmm. and uh, I we'll see how it goes. I think uh, we are trying to set up a meet uh, with one of the founders. I actually saw one of uh, my startup friends saw your booth in Singapore earlier this year. Right. And so uh, he was like actually posting and like hmm, the startup of the year, like, sugar book. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, startup. <laughs> <laughs> right. So like. In Malaysia, do you have anyone operating jobs like this? Like um, I was, I know people doing this on Facebook, on WeChat, on WhatsApp. Is there like a legal entity running something like this? So the ones that you mentioned, the ones on WhatsApp, WeChat, and mm-hmm. um, those are the third-party agents, which I don't recommend that uh-huh. you guys. But um, if you're saying a legal entity, not that I know of, uh-huh. but I'm sure if there's one, I think we would be the first one to know. Okay. Um, yeah. But but also. Not that you don't have any any um, competitors, you can just sit back and relax. Not that we are always um, trying to innovate and plan mm-hmm. ahead, you know, just in case um, something happens. And even if there are competitors coming, uh-huh. we we'll always think of them as a, a means a to push. It's a healthy sign, bro. If 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 there's competition, then it shows the market is there. Exactly. Yeah. So. Uh, not exactly. So I think uh, um, if there are competitors. Uh-huh. Um, it, Shows that the market is there, and it shows uh-huh. that they want a piece of it. Yeah, they want a piece of it. Yeah. yeah. The idea the pie is big enough or not, then that's a different question. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. Or if they're crazy enough uh-huh. to venture into this. Crazy enough. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. So, did you get funding from outside, or was was it all your own money to start this? Um. Everything is funded by friends and family. Uh huh. Um, we don't have any um, investors uh, currently, okay. but um, the sugar book is a self-sustaining uh, business. Right. But we're not stopping there. Mm-hmm. As in, uh, we're trying to expand. Mm-hmm. We're trying to expand uh, on a global scale. Uh-huh. Um, the countries that we're looking at is um, Indonesia, Thailand, and China. So mm-hmm. we're trying to expand to a more developed, uh, a, a bigger market. Okay. So to expand. Mm-hmm. We will want to work with investors. Right. So one that could um, contribute has presence already in those countries. Yes, uh, uh, and also one that not only can contribute monetary uh, in monetary terms, but mm-hmm. also um, that one one that can guide us uh, into right. a, a, a raving uh, success. So if there are any investors or VCs that are interested. Uh, Just get in touch with us. You can reach us via our our the sugarbook slash the sugarbook dot com slash press, and uh, let's see where it goes. Mm-hmm. All right. So I was thinking, right, like when Grab came into the market, Uber came into the market, they went on the streets, took a parking spot, gave out free ice cream, and say, "Hey, sign up. Uh, this is Grab. This is what we do." I don't think you can do the similar type of marketing. That's an on-ground marketing. Yes. Um, I think we we can definitely try. Mm-hmm. We can try. I okay. think uh, it, this has been the talk of uh, uh, is a the topic of discussion in our office because uh-huh. 
Um, some of us, you will want to go to uh, Bukit Bintang okay. and uh, try that kind of marketing style. Mm-hmm. So, haven't really tried yet, but okay. I think uh, very soon, I think we'll, we will try the on-ground marketing. As in, come sign up to the sugar book, is, uh, find yourself a sugar daddy, you know, so. What are the odds of you getting kicked out of the place? <laughs> I don't, I think, um, not, I think it would be fine, mm-hmm. right? Because uh, it's, at the end of the day, it's also a dating platform and a social networking platform. So uh, that's where our, all our PR campaigns and PR efforts and education uh-huh. comes in. Okay. So like, what are the other challenges you're facing right now? Are like people coming there to support you or people looking down on your work? What are the challenges you see? We have got a lot of feedback. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, I think um, in every business, there's going to be naysayers. Mm-hmm. And, um, but we like to focus on the good ones. Okay. So the good ones is that uh, a lot of members are, uh, are contributing on what they want to see on the platform, uh-huh. what kind of features they, would, they want to see on the platform. Okay. So I thank um, the, our members for contributing because without them, we wouldn't know um, what they would like. Right. So, like, one of them was like, I don't want to put my picture on it. Yes. Imagine just scrolling through the feed and then you see someone you know or someone who's quite big and respectable and then you're like, dude, he's looking for a sugar baby. <laughs> and then, okay, that's bad. So, uh, I think you have, like, a raging fan over here, like Mr. Tang. Is he, is he your friend? So, he's asking any job hiring and what type of talents you're looking for. He's looking for developers, marketers, and product managers. And PRs. Uh, PRs. Yeah. We're growing our team. Not the other kind of talents. If you want to be a sugar, maybe you can sign up on his website. Yeah. It's called thesugarbook.com, guys. Thesugarbook.com. Okay. Um, I went into your website. I didn't sign up yet. So you spoke about this. What was it? Student loan reduction team. What's it about? So the student program is basically about um, if you have a student ID and student um, email, mm-hmm. sign up to the Sugar Book and uh, we will give you a premium for free. What's a premium? Premium means that when uh, premium means okay because in the Sugar Book there's standard members, okay. there are premium members. Uh-huh. Then in future there's going to be diamond members. Right, okay. So premium are the ones that are paying. Uh-huh. So if you have a student ID, a student email, uh-huh. sign up with a student email. Mm-hmm. And we will award you with a, it's an auto upgrade to the premium status. I was thinking like you're going to help pay my school loans, man. Oh, nothing like that. No, no, no. <laughs> <like> that. <laughs> that would be, be nice. That would be really cool. That would be cool, man. Like you find a sugar daddy that is only, oh, that's going to pay for your college fees. <laughs> that would be really cool, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Like, okay, Malaysians are not getting, getting into the premier colleges. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Join the sugar room. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, speaking about you getting more wide coverage from the media, okay. I got a question. It's like any PR, good PR. Is you mean if any PR is good PR? Is it so? Uh, well, what I think is, I, I used to think that any PR is good PR, uh-huh. but like, um, that's what they teach in business school, right? That's what they say. Uh huh. Actually, running the show is different. But. But in reality, mm-hmm. what I can say is, I'll try to give you some examples. Uh-huh. Um, look at Toyota. Okay. Toyota, they, uh, their sales went down when they had to recall right. all, all their, uh-huh. their, their cars back. Well, but now they were very responsible in recalling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, their revenue went down 10%. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. that's one thing right there. That's bad PR right there. That's bad PR. So, and if you look at um, Tiger Woods, right? Okay. Tiger Woods, he, um, when the whole scandal uh-huh. happened, that is Killed his life. really... His sponsorship left. He couldn't play anymore. Exactly. Uh-huh. So I think that any type of PR will uh-huh. get people talking about you, uh-huh. right? But it's to what kind of uh, PR and mm-hmm. to what degree and what kind of business you're in, uh-huh. right? So... Um, Bad PR puts you in a unique spot like that, that okay. most people don't... Uh, Gives you more stress. Right? And when you're in that spotlight, uh-huh. what, the thing that you should do is learn from it. Mm-hmm. Learn from the negative PR, the bad PR, mm-hmm. and uh, try to, to, to not do the same, you know, the same mistakes again uh-huh. and come back stronger. Uh-huh. Because 
after the bad PR, most of it will be smooth sailing. So you lap through the first valley, and then now you know where to go. Yeah. Okay, we got another question. How do you define the ethical issue on it? Can you please make it clear? So, first, is it an ethical problem? You running the sugar book? Right. Um, because all our members, <coughs> all ninety five thousand members of ours, they are all real people. How many members? Ninety five thousand people. <laughs> Shit, okay. <laughs> So all 95,000 members of ours are all real people uh -huh. and um, they are real people searching for the final things in life, uh -huh. searching for love, companionship uh -huh. and these people, they, they are real people not employed by the sugar book, you see? And we do not earn or profit from any commission from them. So okay. I don't think um, there's um, anything unethical about that, that that we see because at the end of the day, it's still a social networking platform. What you use it for is totally up to you. Yeah, what you use it for is totally up to you, but um, yeah. we see we, people tend to abuse products. Right. You see? Uh -huh. but people tend to abuse products. They go on Facebook, they do this, they do that. Mm. Um, so it's, it's, it's really up to the people, but we try to contain a lot of, um, a, a lot of um, uh, misbehaving. Or, or you actually moderate, like you have moderators, exactly. right? We have 12 moderators mm -hmm. and these moderators, are, we are very strict, uh -huh. like I said, no nudity, adult content mm -hmm. and if we see any of these um, offences being made, uh -huh. it doesn't matter if you're uh, premium or not, we are... Account is blocked. Yeah, we will ban you. Like elsewhere, like anywhere else, there's Facebook groups doing the same thing, there's WeChat channels doing the same thing, but it's already happening. You just made it like took it to a next level and control the environment. Yeah. So after this, what will be the next step? Like for for the platform. Uh -huh. um, expansion. Regional. Ex product regional. development, uh -huh. growth, expansion. Product, you have the product. So they develop. Oh, the additional features. Improvements uh -huh. and more features into it. Uh -huh. And uh, trying to grow the whole product. Uh -huh. The growth rate, or uh, the growth rate of uh, the sugar right now is uh, tremendous. I think, is the trajectory is ninety five thousand man. I don't think it's going to be hard for you to find any funding. Uh, we'll, <laughs> we we do have um, some offers, but uh, we're trying to to see which ones are in line with us. Uh, but right. still, we are very open for for anybody to come on. Wait, uh, what was I thinking about? So I was okay. You you were talking about data protection, right? personal data protection. So let's say someone hacks into your system and then what kind of information is there that they can take it up, take out? Well, we, we, we are using the, um, the standard, uh, not standard, sorry, um, the financial institution uh, great, uh, uh, what do you call it, security system. Okay. So the ones that the CIAs are using uh -huh. as well because um, our servers are, uh, are from the AWS. Okay. So so uh, we have, uh, I think if we, we try our best mm -hmm. not to allow uh, these things happening, so mm -hmm. we do our own penetration testings to do okay. penetration to, testing. Right. So, so we do our own penetration testings yeah. and and uh, our firewalls mm -hmm. and and whatnot, and uh, so we try to keep it as secure as possible, and mm -hmm. I'm very confident mm -hmm. that uh, our servers are, uh, are up to the standard. Let's say it happens, how will, do you plan to control the situation? Oh, I think uh, we will need to work with a third party as well, uh -huh. um, which we are, mm -hmm. which we will be working with third parties to, for, for security. Uh -huh. And if data actually uh, um, gets leaked, uh -huh. I think it's... it's it's very. It's one thing that we haven't, haven't, uh, haven't seen because uh, um, something very far from what we can see. Because we are so, so we're trying to keep it as secure as possible. Yeah. And but if it really happens, I think like, like anonymous can hack into anything now. Yeah, exactly. So if if, if somebody hacks into a bank, what's going to happen? What's the bank? What are the banks going to do? Uh, you know. So if somebody hacks into um, another dating platform, mm -hmm. what's going to happen? Because Ashley Madison. Mm -hmm. um, they were hacked and uh, 
things went spiral from there, but they are back right now. They call it a home wrecker. <laughs> a home wrecker. <laughs> um, Ashley Madison is back right now. They're back uh, in the game right okay. now. So, yeah, well, never really thought of it. But what I know is that we're getting people in mm-hmm. to help with the security as well. Uh-huh. So, uh, is there any way, let's say, like uh, I'm in there, it shows how many people I've talked to before and what I've currently, who am I currently seeing, those kind of stuff. No, everything is based on, we, we're based on, the whole platform is based on privacy. Okay. So, users, you won't be seeing what other users are, are doing. Uh-huh. I won't be able to see what users and other users are doing or chatting with. Uh-huh. But you are able to see who has viewed your profile. Okay. Um, you are also able to see who has liked your profile. Okay. So that's one of the premium features. Premium features. So it's like something like Tinder, you go back and like unswipe and yes. click and put a double tap on the... Something like Tinder, Tinder Plus. Tinder Plus. See, Tinder started with a free app and then they had Tinder Plus to buy you more credits. The hard thing was up. Yeah. So Tinder, okay. Tinder started with a very different uh, business model compared course, to us. Yeah. It's actually very simple. Left or right, you like or not. But you know, um, the Tinder swipe thing, uh-huh. it was actually invented by uh, one, of, uh, one of the guys in Tinder. Mm-hmm. And uh, how it all started with one of the developers mm-hmm. talking, to, um, um, talking to one of the founder, saying that he has a new idea, which is okay. just a swipe. Swipe. You know, it's swipe. it all came from the developer and they didn't want to develop the whole swiping thing. But that developer mm-hmm. went home and did it all himself. In less than three days, he got it. Uh, it could have been started from, you know, like iPhone, there was a swipe to unlock. Yeah. Maybe he liked that swipe. Maybe. <laughs> but look at it this way. I think uh, the whole swipe, the swipe thing is, uh, mm-hmm. is a great sensation right now. Right. Right. So it's, everybody is using it. Tencent is investing in a swiping Tinder-like app to match you with your groceries. Oh, really? Yes. What is it called? I don't know. They're still developing. They're looking at, looking into it. That sounds very interesting. Of, the concept of swiping. Sounds very interesting, yeah? Yeah. So, okay. How long have we been going on? One hour. Okay. Do we have any more questions? What? Is there any email address like this guy is asking? What will be the best way to contact you or your team? Well, you can... Um, Send an email to hello, H E L L O, at the sugarbook.com. Hello at the sugarbook.com. Exactly. So, okay, Mr. Tan, hello at the sugarbook.com. Any other questions? I think if we have any more questions after this, we'll just can we tag the sugarbook in our sure. questions? Sure. All right, because after this, we'll also be sharing this video out to other groups. So, all right. Do you have any parting words? our customers um, what I can say is if you're trying to start a business mm-hmm. if you're trying to start a startup mm-hmm. what I can advise you from what I've been through mm-hmm. not that I've been through a lot to uh-huh. start a startup but what I've experienced is that mm-hmm. hiring is the most important the right talent hiring the right people is the most important mm-hmm. getting the right people uh-huh. cultivates the culture mm-hmm. and it motivates the team as well mm-hmm. so Starting a startup, being a CEO and being a founder is no joke because it's not easy. You gotta have your passion to do it. Mm -hmm. When you wake up, don't feel like you're going to work, but just working on your passion instead. And always remember that being a CEO, you gotta do a lot of things. For example, the vision, the mission, Mm -hmm. the funding. And also share it with your team. Make sure you're the right person. And the second thing I wanna share to you is that always manage compassionately. Compassionately. Uh, it's one of the hardest things that I've ever tried in my life. Try it someday. I think empathy is part of it. Yes, exactly. Okay. I think earlier today, Elon Musk put a Tesla in a rocket, Falcon Heavy, launched it into the space. Yeah. That bloody car is orbiting the planet today. So like, no goal is impossible if you put your hard work into it. Yeah. Exactly. All right. With that, I think we end today's show. If you guys still got more questions, just comment below. And as well, you can email Darren's team at hello at thesugarbook.com. With that, I ask all of you all to like, comment, and share this video to everyone you know. Thank you. Bye. Right. Thank you so much. It was a great interview. Scary, man. Scary.